Okay guys, so today I'm going to talk about market structure, how to know which way to actually trade. And I say this is kind of like the basics in the mentorship because the stuff I've taught, um, the confluences, that's kind of uh, the more advanced sort of stuff. But then when you actually have the confluences nailed, then once you know the market structure, you'll be able to get the right direction every time. You'll be able to notice, okay, now we're looking for reversals. Then, you know, reversals are where you can use like the QMLs um, to notice that there's a reversal and you'll kind of see that in this video. Uh, so firstly, we can clearly see that here we're in this uptrend. So evidently price is going higher. So I use it like this. This It's not really a trend line, but you can kind of use it as a trend line, uh, not to trade off, but just to see the direction. So here we're clearly following this diagonal line to the upside and the reason why this is important is we know once this trend is actually stopped then we can look for trades this direction to follow that downwards uh, trend line sort of thing and the way to actually tell this has actually happened is to just look for failures to create new highs so when we were down here you can see that we had this move below we created the low however when price actually came back up, we created a new high. So instead of price actually creating a lower high, so maybe a high like there, which was obviously lower than this high here, we created a higher high. Um, so although we did actually create that low, the new low, we didn't create a higher, uh, a lower high even. So this was why we switched to the upside. And then in doing that, we also created this higher low, higher low, and we kept breaking to the upside. The, the area which is actually switched was this area here so this was obviously the high at the time price came up failed to create a new high so this was what we call you know equal tops um, equal highs double top whatever in this area and when this actually happens we failed to create that new high and a lot of times you'll see people say okay we've got a double top we need liquidity to be taken then drop and you know this can actually happen and it can trick a lot of people actually into getting into trades as well. But you can kind of see if we draw this across, like from the exact area, we kind of created the liquidity in this area. Um, and if we look as it came back to test it. Um, but if you're looking back on price here, it's the same area once again. So the top of this imbalance area yet to be filled, the top of this order block, yet to be tested was in line with this here. So again, once again, you've got another confluence. So why did price stop here? Order block, fill of the imbalance, absolutely perfect. And how would you know to sell from this area rather than just saying, okay, we've tapped into that order block. Well, like I said before, failure to create a new high. And once we didn't create that new high, and then this was another very, very good confirmation. So this was the low at the time. And then price created a lower low, so we've clearly switched the trend. So instead of going up, 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 you know, going up, going up that way, we've now switched it to create a lower low. And although we didn't create a lower high, it doesn't matter because it didn't create a new high. You know, it's equal. So this is a good way of seeing, okay, the trend has stopped and it doesn't look like it's gonna to go to the upside anymore. Also, an even better example is this here. So we've got the high at the moment. We've got that new break of the lows here. So to create a new low. And what did we create here? We created a lower high. First high, second high. And this is obviously a lot lower than the first one. And then what happened after that? We had this big drop to the downside. And when it gaps like this, you know, it can quite be quite misleading because let's say you're tra trading off of this as a new low. Um, well, it technically doesn't really count because that's when the market opens. So I wouldn't really say that we switch into an uptrend now because of we created this new uh, higher low here. Um, but if we look on gold today as well, it's another good example. So what we can see is uh, if we go for today. Okay, so this whole move to the downside was caused when uh, let's get the tool. 
price was clearly creating these higher lows. We had a failure to create new highs. You know, we couldn't breach these highs here. And then what happened? We created a new low, which breached this low. Where did we test back into? Tested back into the previous low. And then you probably could have got an imbalance fib on this as well. And then you could have got your entry. Or you could have got the retested liquidity. You know, we had an order block here, got a test of that. Uh, would the 60 have been tapped? Uh, yeah, look at that, absolute perfection. So you've got the break of structure, price comes back up to test the fib on the imbalance, and then we get that drop to the downside. And then again, we've got the situation, same situation here. So what we have, this is a low, this is a new low, new low, new low. You've got the same situation here. Imbalance, breaking structure, again here, imbalance, breaking structure. We've created that new higher low. Could have got the entry there. If you didn't get the entry there, draw the fib across, uh, decent balance candles. Or you could, higher time frame, you probably would have got uh, a better entry um, because you would be able to use the whole imbalance candle because we've got these tiny little order blocks. Um, but on this time frame, it doesn't really look the best. But you probably could have got, again, a fib entry on these imbalances here. However, today, the reason why it was no longer sells. Uh, if we just get rid of all that, there we go. So what happened was we had obviously this area, which was a 30 minute order block. So in this area, and then we sold off. We created this higher low from this low, but then price came up, created a new higher high. So we were kind of still in that uptrend. But then we failed to create a lower low, which obviously meant that we were still going to go bullish. So we failed to create a new low to the downside. However, we're still creating these higher highs to the upside. So this kind of solidifies the fact that we're staying in this uptrend. That's why I closed out of my sales and then I wasn't trading because I knew the price, okay. We've reacted in this area again. We haven't created a new low below here. So then I'm no longer looking to actually take this trade. And then look what happened, new, high to the upside broke out of this high so let's say as an example you're looking to buy a trade like buy gold you could look like this obviously you could do it more accurately but this is just an example you could use the whole range and then price could come back test into here and then we could go to the upside you also have 25 1925 which was once again acting as a nice psychological level in this area here which price actually bounced off and then went to the upside. So that could have been a good target if you were looking um, at your sales. You now we pretty much tapped that to the pip and then went to the upside, which is also the area back here. So you kind of see the same area getting tested again, which was previous liquidity, tested again as more liquidity. You, know, you could see it's just break and retest of uh, supply and demand areas as well. But if you look on AUD USD, this is a good example uh, of the double tops. So you see here, we've got this double top. Price grabs the double top, creates a new high above. And a lot of times people would just sell here. But I say a confirmation to actually sell and hold it further down is if we break the lows. So we've got the lows here. We failed to create new lows, which means obviously there's not enough uh, bearish strength to go further down to the downside. So then when price comes down, where could we have entered? We got that order block there. Boom. You know, look how small the stop, stops could have been. Five pip stops. You could have targeted the previous high here. Boom, one to five. But the reason I was actually personally shorting from here uh, was I think it was on, it was on one of these fibs like this um, and then price tagged me in and I short it. However, I didn't actually place the trade because I was done for the day. I take one trade, one to two trades a week and then I'm done, you know, up on the FTMO like four grand or something and then yeah, pretty much sorted. But yeah, I definitely say if you're struggling with structure, just go back to the basics and realize, okay, high low, high low, high low, high low, failure to create new lower lows, higher low, higher low. So it's kind of 
just go back to the basics of your trading where you've seen like trend lines that sort of thing and not to trade from them but just to figure out the direction and then you add in the confluences to that and then you can have a proper winning strategy